Hi everyone, let's talk makeup. And today what I want to do is do a review and lip swatch of the Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Bold Whip little kit. As soon as I saw this was out, I like ran to my computer to purchase it because I really like these sets. And um, I'm, I don't like their nude sets anymore because I find like most of their nude sets just don't fit my skin tone, just doesn't go well. Um, so I was excited when I saw that they had a bold set. Um, and so I've been trying some of these things, not all of them, so some of them will be first impressions, but quite a few of them um, are, are not first impressions. Uh, so I haven't done some lip swatches on my channel in a really long time um so we'll see how this goes hopefully i've gotten better at editing and such so all right um by the way i on my lips right now i just have this uh, lip smacker balm on and i'm gonna be removing the lip swatches with makeup wipes so i'm gonna try to start with the things that will hopefully be easier to remove from my lips uh, so this is the tardiest lip paint in wannabe so this shade is intriguing it's definitely darker it's definitely bold it is not for the faint of heart <laughs> so let's see um i'm using a mirror down here by the way so that i can see how um, application i'm not using a lip liner nothing like that these are just going to be kind of raw rough um, lip swatches wow okay so this is the tardiest lip paint in wannabe so, what do y'all think? <laughs> uh, this is a bit bold, isn't it? It's bold and wow. Let me uh, take a look. Hmm, I kind of like it. It's kind of witchy and different and um, it's definitely an attention getter. I like it though. I like it. I think especially for this time of the year, it's, um, it'll actually be good. So, there it is. All right, so the formula is starting to set and to kind of dry, but so far it is pretty comfy. Uh, this is my first experience with these lip paints. I think I'd gotten one in um, a different set, uh, but it was way too nude for me, so I never, I never even tried it. I just moved on to the next thing. Uh, but this, this I like. It feels very comfortable and. Um, it's transfer proof. Yay. Okay. All right. I like, I like this formula now uh, because I feel like this was something that I could um, wear on a date. It's not exactly a date color, but <laughs> uh, I'm liking it. Okay. So next up is the nude sticks. What is this called? The nude sticks. Magnetic matte lip color in the color Vino. So this is another a dark color and I haven't been giving you hand swatches because I'm doing those lip swatches but there it is if you're interested um, this I have already tried on my lips and I do really like it um, it's a bold color it's not too scary like the other one um, was a little bit um, so let me uh, put it on and show you all right so there it is the nude sticks matte whip in vino I really like this one and this is exactly the kind of color that I've been trying to wear more of because I've what I've been finding over the years is that I have been gravitating towards pink and lighter colors, but because of my skin tone, I can handle wearing these kinds of darker colors and they look really nice, I feel. Um, so I'm really liking it. And this, I think, is just perfect for this time of the year, for fall, for winter, for really any time of the year. Um, but I am really liking it. It's matte, but it's not like super drying um, it's comfortable when i wore it um this past week it did um when kind of disappear when i started eating food but that's also normal if you're eating food you know whatever you have on your lips typically is going to go away uh so all right let's move on okay so next up let's do the bite beauty so this is the bite beauty amuse bouche lipstick in licorice and i already know that i really like um, by Beauty Formulas. Um, so this is a dark, bold color. Again, I'll do the hand swatch on this one. Oh, oh, this is going to be very similar to that other one. All right, let's try that. Okay, so this is the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche in Licorice. My lip swatch is not perfect, and um, hopefully that's okay, um, because you can still see the 
the color and how to look on tan skin tone. So let me show you real quick the swatches. So this one was the nude steak and then this is um, the Bite Beauty. And so it's not, there's enough difference here to justify putting them in the kit. Um, it is, it's got more red in it than the other um, lip, uh, lip products we've been using. I really like this because it's really comfortable. It's got some gloss and sheen in it and Oh, Bite Beauty is just really comfortable lipsticks to wear. So I really like pretty much everything I've tried from Bite Beauty. So I am I am quite impressed with this one and the kind of bold color of it. This is also a bold color that I would feel comfortable wearing out to pretty much any occasion because it's a little bit more red <clears throat> without, um, yeah, without being too bold. I don't know. I really like it. <laughs> um, and then part of it is just I really love the formula. All right, let's go on to the next one. The next one is this Too Faced. It's from the Peach Collection um, called um, Drunk Dial. This packaging is really, really pretty. I like it. Um, and this one is one of the ones that I've already tried. This was the first one that when I saw, um, when I opened up the little kit, I immediately put this on and my boyfriend looked at it and he's like, that's a very you color <laughs> because it's a little bit bolder. And like I said, I've been kind of going for a little bit more bold uh, color recently. Um, so here's the swatch of it. And so as you can see, it's a little bit uh, lighter, a little bit brighter than any of the other um, lip products that I've tried on so far. There is a little bit of detailing in the actual lipstick. You see, hopefully you can see um, that there are little peaches engraved in the actual lipstick, which I think is a really nice detail in one eye. Not, a, not important, but I really like them. So, yes. so again, this is the, from the Too Faced Peach Collection in Drunk Dial. And I think it is really pretty. Really, really pretty. Um, I wouldn't be wearing this to work for per se. Because um, I tend to be really, really neutral for work. But I think this is a really good one. Definitely one that I am um, enjoying. And in fact, I like the formula so much that... I went into Sephora um, yesterday to return um, my a palette that came in broken and uh, I went and took a look at the Too Faced lipsticks and I ended up grabbing a different color because this is a formula I like. Um, it's this comfortably, I like matte lipsticks and this one's uh, matte without being drying or too, too matte. Um, so this is really nice one for me. So there we go. This one I already have because I went to Bare Minerals um, last month and I purchased a few things and they, they were giving these out for free, free samples. So it's tiny, it's a tiny little sample and um, you know, and I get that this, these lip kits are just here as kind of samplers, they're not supposed to, you know, last you a really long time, but I feel like really like this is a little free thing like it could have been a little bit bigger if you were going to be including it in this kit either way i'm not going to swatch the one that came in the kit because since i already have one that i had actually used i'll go ahead and swatch this and i'll be back in a second. okay so this is the bare minerals liquid lipstick in a vip um, this because it's a tiny little sample you're not getting kind of the full size of the doe foot uh, so i found myself dipping back in here several times so this is something that um, even now, dimping into it, you, having used it a few times, I think I'm going to finish real quick because there's not a ton of product in it. And so that's just the nature of what it is. Let me do the swatch on here on my hand. Um, this is the only red red in the kit. And it's really, it's a really nice lip color. Um, I do really like it. As I said, I've been wearing it before. And... It's a liquid lipstick that's really comfortable on the lips. This is one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas for that reason. I like liquid lipsticks though. So if you don't like liquid lipsticks, uh, maybe this is a good way of trying it um, and trying out the formula. Um, it's a really comfortable, moussey formula. It will transfer. Actually. So there's a little bit of transfer in there, but not a lot. Most of it will stay on your lips and it will wear off um, really nicely. It won't give you that kind of <laughs> ring um, in the center of your lips. So it wears off really, really nicely. Um, and it is 
a nice red like it's not cherry red it's a little bit darker red uh, so I feel like um, if you're well if you're scared of reds you're probably not gonna like this and this whole kit is not for you but <laughs> I think it's very doable red I would feel comfortable wearing this anywhere so um, that is it and let me come back with the last okay so the last one is the Kat Von D liquid lips lipstick in the color K dub um, I saved this for last because I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this particular color. This is some bold color. I put it down here. So as you can see, the other ones in the kit are a little bit darker. And this one just um, goes for brighter. The Kat Von D formula is one that I really like. But it's also a formula that can be very drying. Um, not everyone feels that way but I feel like this is on the drier end of liquid lipstick so if you hate liquid lipsticks this is not the formula for you uh, but let me go ahead and put it on and let's talk about it afterwards um, so this for sure is not a lip product that I'm gonna get a ton of use out of it just doesn't quite fit my skin tone um I think if you have lighter skin tone or even darker skin tone it'll look really good on you um, on me I just I mean, I don't think it looks bad. I just, it's not my favorite. Um, so I tend to actually not like the liquid lipstick colors that they put in some of these kits. Not, and not because I don't like the formula, because I, I actually do like the Kat Von D formula. I have Lolita, I have Lolita 2, um, I have, goodness, I, and I even have lighter ones. I have quite a few Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, and I like the formula because it's really long-wearing. It, um, it'll stay put, it's transfer-proof, um, and I just, I like it. I like liquid lipsticks, but this particular color, I just don't see myself wearing, um, especially in the same way that I see myself wearing um, some of these other ones. So, um, in the end, I really like the Sephora um, lip kits because it's a nice way, especially when you're first getting into makeup and you're not sure exactly what kind of lip colors look good on you and you're wanting to experiment. These are a really good way of doing it. And this little one, uh, these little kits allow you to experiment a little bit more with um, different styles, right? So uh, bold lips here, these are, I would consider every single one of the colors in this kit bold colors and this is exactly what I wanted so with the exception of the Kat Von D I think I will get used out of every single lip product in here except Kat Von D. Uh, the one that's disappointing is the Bare Minerals little sample which I think is not quite fair to put something that small in there but on the plus side you do get the um, Too Faced which is a full size so this is not a trial uh, or travel size this is full size and the nude stick is also full size. Um, so I tend to not care so much about how many full size are in there or about doing the math on um, you know, price per ounce because the reality is for me that I'm not gonna use all of these lip products up. You know, especially if they're full size, they're not gonna get used up because I have a lot of different lip products. So for me, it's will I get enough wear out of these lipsticks to make it worth the money that they're asking for it. In this case, it's $28. Um, and for me, it is because I'm going to use every single one other than the Kat Von D. And the Kat Von D, I feel like, um, I mean, it's possible I'm going to get some use out of it at some point, maybe for filming. Uh, so it for me, it was worth it because I really wanted to try the Too Faced. I really liked the nude stick and wanted to try it, which I've never tried. Um, and um, and the Tardius lip paint I've never tried and now I know that I like those formulas so I can go in and kind of go check um, check out those formulas and see what other colors I like in them uh, so overall this was a hit for me but I don't think it's for everybody right if you're into neutrals and into nudes this is definitely not for you uh, but if you're more into the bold lip colors then I think this might be worth it you know um, take a look at it and see if it's gonna be worth it to you um, I with these kinds of kits, if there's two lipsticks in here that you really don't like and you won't get anywhere out of, I don't think they're worth it. It's, for me at least, in my, the way I think about these things. Uh, for me, if there's two in here that you don't like, it's better to just go purchase the one that you really want to try. 
you know, if you're really interested in like the Too Faced or the Nude Sticks, then go buy a single in that formula. Rather than spending the $28 on um, the whole thing. Uh, but, and actually I think, like just the Too Faced is worth $25. So actually, mm, <laughs> dollar wise i think this is very worth it uh, but anyways i will leave the link for it down below i don't know how long it'll be available but um as of filming this video it is available so i'll go ahead and link that there and let me know which colors do you think work best on me i'm liking i really like the nude sticks and i really like um Bearman. Well, I like most of them, <laughs> except for this one. Um, so anyway, that is it for me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.